Hi everybody, this is Jody with Topaz Labs. Today I'll be telling you all about the tone curves adjustment within Topaz Studio. So in photo editing, a curve is a remapping of image tonality. Curves can affect the tonality of an entire image or individual channels. Applying tone curves to all channels will affect the brightness, shadows, and contrast. Applying tone curves to individual channels will affect the color. Tone curves should be used to manipulate and change aspects of the image's exposure, change color tone, and to change amount of light. Let's go ahead and look at our workspace right now. Over here in Topaz Studio, you can see that I have my effects panel closed. I have my workspace closed down here. And at this time, I have the scopes panel closed. If you like to make technical changes to your image, you might want to leave your scopes panel open on the RGB tab. When you make changes to tone curves, you'll see your graph change to coordinate with the changes you're making to the image. If you're more like me and you like to make creative changes, you may want to leave the scopes panel closed so that you have more workspace right here for your adjustments. Now, when you add the tone curves adjustment, you'll do so right here, and you'll see that it opens up. In here, we have all of our basic tools, presets, our channels, and the tone curve line. When you're on the tone curves adjustment for RGB tonality and you make a change, going up above the curve line will make your image lighter and going down will actually make your image darker. Now to reset any change, you can go right here, reset the parameter. You can also make changes to your tone line right here and you can drag the point of your curve in to make the image darker and we can always come on this side and make things lighter. So we also have the option to adjust the red tonality curve, the green tonality curve, and the blue tonality curve. When making changes above the line, you will add red, and when adding below, you'll go opposite and add cyan. When adjusting the green tonality curve, going up will add green, while going down will add magenta to your image. Finally, with blue, you can add blue, or by going underneath the line, we can add yellow. So now that we know how the tone curves adjustment in Topaz Studio works, what can we do with it? In this brief tutorial, I'll show you how you can change the overall tone of an image, and how you can also increase saturation levels with the red, green, and blue channels. So how do we use tone curves to edit an image? The first thing we'll do is we'll come over here and we'll go ahead and add what's called an S curve to our image. This is where we increase the highlights just a little bit to make the image brighter. And then we'll go ahead and bring down the curve line right here and we'll deepen the shadows. When I click on the image, you can see how the tone of the image has changed. We have more contrast and the image has a lot more dimension to it. This is a great starting point for our image, but I think we can do a lot more. Let's go ahead and minimize our adjustment and we'll go ahead and turn off our adjustment as well. And let's go ahead and just have a look at our image for just one moment. Right off the bat, we can see that we have green here because it's a landscape. And I think our image would look really nice with blues added up here in the sky. So if we add another tone curve adjustment and we go over to the green channel, we can actually change this channel to add more green to the image. And now that we have a nice pretty green over the whole image, we'll refine it by using masking. Remember, you can always find your masking options here. Now, we don't want green to be all over the image. We want it to be in an area that's very specific to our subject matter here in the center. To do that, we'll go ahead and invert our mask. Then what we'll do is we'll actually add a spot mask. And we'll change that density to white. 
See that change right here? Instead of masking away our effect, we're now masking in what we want. If we drag this spot mask, we'll see that we're adding green to a lot of areas within the image. So to commit, just click Done. And now you can see that we have a nice green cast here over our image. Let's go ahead and commit this and disable so that we can work on another channel. I'm going to go ahead and add another tone curve adjustment. And this time we'll focus here on the sky. Let's increase our blues until we have a nice pretty blue sky. Here, we'll go ahead and use our masking tool again. And because this is a sky with a little bit of atmosphere back here before we get into our landscape foreground, we'll use the gradient mask. Go ahead and add your mask and we'll need to flip our mask over. And you can already see how we're adding blue into that skyline. All right, let's go ahead and commit our mask. And we can see that we've added blue up here to the sky. If we add our second tone curves adjustment back, we'll see now that we have green in the foreground. Now let's add just a little bit more fun to this image. We'll go ahead and add one more tone curves adjustment. And this time we'll use our red channel. We'll add just a little bit of red. And here you can see that because we added red to the blue areas, we are getting a little bit of a purple cast in our sky. And we're getting a little bit of a murky yellow and brown down here. But I think this is actually going to be really beautiful once we add, you guessed it, a little bit of masking. Let's go ahead and add some brush masking. And we'll go ahead and make our radius pretty big. Okay, so now you can see with masking out that red, we have our blues back up here, our greens back in the middle, but we retained that little kiss of purple over here, a little over here, and we have a little bit of brown down here in the bottom. Let's go ahead and commit this mask as well. And turn back on our original tone curve layer. Now we have our contrast back. So we went from this image that was really good with a nice sky and details within the landscape to something that had a lot of contrast and a lot of fun color. If this effect is a little bit too much for you, you can always come down here to your effect opacity and make an adjustment. Now we have a nice subtle range of colors throughout our entire image. Now, remember we talked about the basic adjustment just a few weeks ago. You can always add that in and in the basic adjustment, we can update our clarity slider to make our images a little bit more clear. And we can also add just a little pop of saturation. So as you can see, the tone curves adjustment is actually really versatile. You can change the tone of your image by updating the highlights and shadows and having a nice new contrast introduced. Or you can also update the color channels. That's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed the Tone Curves Adjustment tutorial, and if you need more information or want to learn more about Topaz Studio, be sure to check out our blog on web.topazlabs.com. Have a great day, everybody, and see you next time.